very real with you. Even though I've been doing my lives for the last two weeks, this website has taken a tiny part of me. But yesterday, it officially, apart from the pictures that I need to change that are on the way, went live. So I need to let you know that if you're watching this on YouTube or you're doing this on YouTube, you have about one more workout on YouTube before everything goes into the website. The website is theworkout.com. It's only £10 a month. That's it. That's like two coffees. It's nothing. It's the bare minimum I could charge you to keep this going. So, if you are watching this on YouTube, you need to go to theworkout.com. From the 1st of March, you're going to have two challenges. You are not going to get that anywhere. So every day, you'll have two workouts to pick from. You'll either have a strength and cardio workout, which is very much like the real-time challenge, not quite so much cardio every single day, but very much in the sense of you'll do a cardio move, a strength move, more like the lives that we do every day. And then you'll also have a very straight, isolated workout, which is the workout you would normally do if you were just gonna lift in a gym. So that will help you build muscle, learn techniques. The workouts that will be in the strength and cardio will keep building on your athletic, plyometric, all of those things that we do every single day. The isolated challenge will be straight ass weight. Like it will be no cardio or lift. So you have two choices. You are not getting that anywhere. I don't care if you're Beachbody, I don't care if you're a multi-million pound company, you are not getting two workouts every single day for a tenner a month. It isn't happening. So please stop sending me messages <laughs> saying that it's £10 a month UK, which is $12. <laughs> stop it, stop sending it me. Like, it's $12. You can't buy anything in America for $12. Like, legit, you can't park your car for $12. <laughs> like, don't, don't tell me, I don't wanna hear it. I must have had a hundred, why is it in UK pounds? Because I'm British. <laughs> and that's just how it is. Yeah, when I worked for them, it was like, why is it in US dollars when you're Canadian? I, you can't win. So that's just how it is. I'm just gonna put that out there and get it off so people stop sending me that message because I'm done with answering it. Um, other things, if you are not part of the website, there will be a couple of lives that will be going on the Facebook page. You have to type in The Workout. I made a Facebook page called The Workout. Go to that. Um, there'll be lives on that every now and then. You'll be told when that's gonna happen. So if you genuinely can't afford £10 a month um, to train with us inside the, the website, like you can still get the odd live um, on Facebook and also obviously they'll stay on YouTube. You can still do these ones if you wish. You are going to miss out though, because this is going to be one of the best challenges I think I've ever done. Um, other things, if you join the website, make sure that you check under the video. I've attached a lot of extras that you are able to access. They do not appear though unless you are a member. So when you're in the main workout, look underneath the video, have a scroll around, have a look. There's a lot of extras that I've hidden in the website that are come in, other things that are coming, the store is on its way, you're gonna be able to get um, logos, wait there, wait there, don't move. So you're gonna be able to get either iron on, which is like this one here, like my name here, I suppose, in, or we have got Velcro, the workouts, yes. So you can either iron it on your vest or iron it on your, to cover up whatever it is, or you can Velcro it, it comes with the Velcro, so you can sew it onto whatever you want, and then you can just Velcro it and change it as and when we get new ones. So that's coming, I've already got them on the way. The story's coming, water bottles are coming, the water bottles are gonna be glass like this, they'll come in a sleeve um, with a metal top. I have practiced and been around and checked quite a lot of the bottles, I've, I've done all of them. I've done the flat ones that you see on Instagram, I've done everything, so these bottles are my favourite, they're very sturdy, some of them have actually broken on me, but these, these ones have actually stood the test, so they're on their way. The only things that I will be selling are things that I would use, that's it. I won't be selling you <laughs> ridiculous gear, things you don't want, I, can, I probably won't be selling gear straight up. I might sell the odd piece of clothing, but honestly, like, 
I'm going to recommend you things that I think are cool, which is one thing that I'm going to show you in a minute. But other than that, I won't be flogging you any old tap that you don't need. <laughs> it's just not how I roll. Um, things I might be doing are, is a, a, a wristband, so when you're working out, you can uh, wipe your wrist. Something that I would definitely use. Um, but yeah, loads of ideas come in, but honestly, by the 1st of March, you need to be on the website, otherwise you won't see any of these workouts. You've had almost a month of workouts and slash bonuses for free already. So just invest a tenner, just a tenner. Very quickly, those of you that know, I normally use an Adidas weighted skipping rope. I decided that I was gonna try a different rope and the one I picked to try, I'm actually quite happy with. I don't, it's probably not the best one on the market, but I will go through it. So, it comes with two ropes, exactly the same. It comes with something you can put on the end of your rope so you can skip outside. Two of them as well. Now what happens is, if you can see the actual ball of this rotates and there's also a ball bearing inside, I don't know you can see ball bearing inside that rotates as well so it's fully what's it now when you get it there's a little um allen key there when you get it these are attached from this and i was like oh my god so i'm in the middle of the gym practicing today's workout and i was like well that's a bit stupid I, who carries an allen key like i was getting dead mad with myself <laughs> bearing in mind this was the first day that i'd had properly like to go and practice and to get my head back into what i'm doing because for two weeks i've not really trained properly and put my like I have a routine and my routine's been just gone I've just been like okay get there film do it get there film sit computer it's been a bit like that so anyway I had these separate from this I was like oh for god's sake anyway look at this this is awesome especially if you travel and also if you share your rope you unscrew the end of this one and it's got an allen key and in here there's extra rope so you can unscrew here and make it longer or shorter. If you like really good design, these are titanium. If you like really good design, you cannot be failed to be impressed by these bad boys. They're called Beast Rope Elite. I'll put it on the screen and hold it for a second so you can take a screenshot. I'm not saying it's the best rope in the world, but the reason I got it is because the rope I use doesn't allow me to do very good, double, I'm not very good at too many rope, I'm trying, um, double unders, and I did say that skipping was gonna be my new practice. So I needed a rope that was almost like a speed rope. That's all I can do, I'm gonna do two. But two's better than nothing. Um, so, it's because I like to dance when I skip and I haven't been practicing double unders. But yeah, um, the reason I like it is because this moves, that's why I picked it and the ball bearing moves as well so you get loads of freedom, your wrists aren't doing all the work. I love my other rope, but it, I can't do double unders on it. So I've gone for this one. I'm not saying buy it. I'm not saying it's the rope for you. What I'm saying is this is the rope I've ordered. If I like it, I recommend it. If you're looking for a rope, it's pretty sound. It's as good as a rope can do. Um, yeah, so that's that. I'm not saying you need to go out right now and buy it. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, this is a rope I've got. Pretty happy with it. It's well made. It seems to do the job. And you get two ropes, so you're never gonna run out. It's never gonna run out. And you can adjust it, so if there's a couple of you using it, it's a good investment. Okay, so, I bet you're wondering what we're doing today. Well, my little petty flu. Well, I've been talking for eight minutes. I did really well. So, we're gonna do legs today. Oh. As you know, we're on reps. This is how I've rolled. I've set my bar up with 35 aside. I have two um, platforms. These are, not these are not necessary, but they will allow you to get deeper into the ass. You also need to heighten your legs a little bit, so put two extra plates at the front of those boxes. If you don't have extra plates to put at the front of those boxes, find something, whatever you've got. Whatever you've got at home, find something, a book, a cooking book, whatever it is, find it, because you are going to need it. Um, I've got a set of medium kettlebells and a set of a little bit lighter kettlebells. I've not got any low weights because it's leg day. None of them are low. They're all medium weights. But they're, so I'll tell you what I've got. That's a 20 kilogram right there, because that's the highest I've got. 
if I was doing this with a lot of weight, I could go up to even 45 kilos because you could hold the weight like this. But that's good enough for home. So 20 kilograms, I've got two 16 kilograms and I've got two, I think they're 12s. Two 12s. I don't know if I'll use the, um, either to 12s or the six, but I'll put them both there just to make sure that I've got them. So again, my bar, so if you haven't got a bar, you're gonna use your heaviest weights because that's gonna be your squat. My steps, if you don't have them, find something. You only have to be able to fall a little bit. It's only so when we squat down, we can get really low. Your plates are there and two separate weights, one medium heavy, one medium heavy, a bit medium more heavy. Jesus. <laughs> Don't know why this is not lighting up how I want it to light up, but we're just going to carry on regardless. I've got some new lights coming, everyone will be happy to, to be uh, happy about that. I know you will. So, are we ready then? Should we get cracking? Let's start with some skipping. We're going to start with five rounds of a minute. If you want to do something else, absolutely go for it. The reason I haven't got my vest on is A, I can't put my bar on, so I've got a bit heavier on my bar, um, and I, all my weights are a lot heavier. If you want to put your vest on, this is the perfect workout to do it. Legs is one of those moves and one of those workouts, and especially because it's reps, you can get really slow, really low, and really bust it out. I have got my vest, so I wonder if I should put it on. I'll go and get it. So the little iron on stickers will be that size, so you can just iron it on. Are you ready? Because I am. You're going to need your chalk because it is going to get real. You are going to need a towel because it is going to get real. Get some water. I need to get my body back in the game. Are we ready? So I'm going to put this on because why not? You don't have to if you're going to go up in your weights. The only time I won't be using it is for when I use my bar squats. Might as well put it on. All of you have got it. I don't want you to feel like it's not being used. Eight seconds. Set your watches. Happy leg day, everybody. Three, two, what time do we start? Twelve, half twelve. Let's go. <laughs> That's all I can do. <laughs> I will get better. I'm better on my own when I'm not thinking about it. When you're under pressure to do it. 40 seconds. new rope. <laughs> it's weird that your body gets used to like the length of the other one and everything. 40 seconds. I did 20. 
20 minutes with it. One minute on, 10 seconds rest. About 210 calories. even more. Can you see? <laughs> Sadistic. Two more. Let's go. No. It's <laughs> uh, okay. Just got to get used to it. I will. I was fine yesterday but I didn't have the best on. So I'm a bit slower on my jump. Grab a drink. That's five rounds and about 20 marks. Are you ready? <laughs> mm. We're going to start off nice and slow. Start off with your medium weights. So grab your medium weight. I'm going to go for my 16. So I've got two 16s. If you need your straps, can you please get them for me, please? Remember, reps is very different. Once we get into it, you can't cheat it. So if you need to go down in your way, please do. So, it's going to be double squats into a single goblet. We've got 25 reps of each. Are you ready? It's leg day. So, if you've got your straps, wrap them around. You've got 25 reps, whatever that rep is. Whatever your weight is, it should be on medium weight. These are 16s. Three, just to warm up. Two. One, let's go. Squat down, one, two. If you've got dumbbells, find something to drop them on or don't go all the way to the floor. Four, three, four, five, six, seven. See what I'm doing? Lifting my toes. 13. So all the weight goes in that back. 14. Sit back. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. 25 more. How's it feeling already? These are 16 kilograms. It's way heavier than 20 pounds. 
five, four, three, two, shoulders back, one more, good, really good, now you've got your goblet, you can hold it in the middle, or you can hold it here, I prefer you to hold it here, it's way harder, again, toes pointed out, try and get them toes up, I've been practicing without my trainers for a while with my toes up, I'm finding this a lot better, you get more weight depth, are you ready? Make sure the weight is even. Three, two, one. Let's go all the way down. One, squeeze up. It's not fast. Two, three, four, five, six. Come on, breathe. Seven, let's go. Eight, let's get in this now. Nine, ten. 15 more, oh my god. Make sure the weight is even. Two. One, I've got 10 more. How many have you got? It should be challenging. 16 kilograms is no joke, I've got 10 more. I'll wait for you that need it. Well, this is gonna get real. You know, cause I've been quite sedentary for two weeks doing the website between lives, I'm feeling it. So if you have had a bit of time off, I'm right with you. Are you ready? But you just keep getting your head back in the game. Get one day on, lock it in, move on. Get another day done, lock it in, move on. That's how you do it. If it gets too challenging, just lower the weight and just get through it. Don't quit, that's the worst thing you can do. Lower the weight and do it low weight with as many reps between rounds as you can. Are you ready? 25 squats. So this is 32 kilograms and my 10 pound vest and my body weight. Three, two, one, toes up. Three, two, one, go. 10, sit back, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, I can't remember how many I've done. <laughs> I'll just do 10 more. Nine, eight, I can't remember how many I've done. Seven, it's been one of them weeks. Six, five, four, three, two. I think I've got five more. From how my legs feel, I think I've got five more. Knowing myself. I think I've got five more. If you've done 25, you want to add a few more in, do it. But I think I've got five more. My brain won't remember anything. <laughs> so I can push my body and my mind to its absolute limits. <laughs> this is the first day that I can actually switch off and really, really enjoy the workout, but my mind's taking a minute to join me. <sighs> five, five, four, <sighs> three, Two, good, one more. One, back to your goblets. How are you feeling? See if I have my thing now, I can wipe it. Okay, you ready? Let's do it, goblets. Okay, I'm right here with you. You should be sweating already. I'm absolutely dripping. Oh, it 
that's so nice. It's so nice to know I've got to go home and really think about something that's not working properly. I've got stuff to add, but it's all working. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really good, come on, keep pushing. Sit back, eight, nine, 10, about 15 more, I'm gonna do five of the rest. Make sure the weight's even, don't let one side work more than the other. feeling? Can you up your weights? I'm dripping already though. It's pouring off me. Can you up your weights? Mm. <coughs> this is this is how switched off my brain is right now. I'm not switched off, I'm here. But I mean like because I've had so much to think about. I just looked over there I was like, somebody's left a trainer. <laughs> it's, my, it's my trainer. I'm like, what stupid? Oh god, somebody's left a trainer. It's my That'll be your trainer, Lisa, from five minutes ago. Oh yeah, oh yeah, got it, got it. <laughs> uh, are you ready? <laughs> I'm no more tired than when we did adverts every day and then I was doing three or four lives in a day to try and keep things moving. I'm no more tired than that. I got this, I got it. <laughs> I was like, God, what a stupid thing to do, leaving a trainer there, it's mine. Ready? Can't make it up. Three, two, let's go. Pick yourself up, get that really strong position. Shoulders back, sit back, squeeze your bum, abs in, shoulders tall, let's go. Squeeze, 10, nine, eight, seven, let's go. Six, five, good. Four more for me. Four, three, two, one, 15 to go. Let's do five more. Sweat it, go. Five, four, three more. Three, two more. Two, one more. Come on, one. I've got 10 more. How many have you got? Also, make sure you're making a note of your weights below the video. I know it's, uh, it seems like um, a bit of a hassle, but you know when you come back to this workout, you can see what you've increased and how far you've come. Are you ready? 10 more for me. Up, set yourself up before you go. Let's go, 10. Seven, good, huh. really good. Six more for me. Six, five, four more for me. Four, three, two more for me. Two, one more for me. One, good, really good. One more set of goblets and we move on. Anybody else really sweating? 
when I have my lashes in like this, the big ones, which take me forever to put in by the way, there's a lot of F words when I put these ones in. Normally I just use the three quarter ones, bang, two seconds, no messing, in, job done. I run out, so I have to have the ones where you have to cut them. And then like they don't bend around your eyes, they just keep popping off. So by the time I've got the patience to put these in, because they're so big, they're the, it's the only time that I feel like I've got eyes like Teresa, because Teresa's got a little chinkier, like little Chinese eyes. And uh, it's the only time that I feel like that we have got the same eyes, because my eyes are like my dad's. And Teresa's a, a little bit more like narrow, like my dad's and my mum's. But it does, it does make me feel like that. But they, they always come off. If I had the like the fitted ones, which people go, oh, I'll get the ones where you the glue in. But honestly, I put them in and within like four days, they're all gone. It's so much easier for me just to put the sticky ones in. Are we ready, goblets? Let's go. Three, two, she, she won't be offended by that, by the way. She, she knows. Three, two, she's got tiny little eyes, like little pinholes. Three, two, one, let's go. Two, three, come on. Four, let's finish here. Pour it off me. Ten more. Are you sweating? Yeah, man, leg day. My favourite. And, my, and the one I hate the most. All at the same time, but I'm glad when I've got it done. Three, two, one, ten more. Make sure the weight is even. Ten. Nine. Eight. Six, five more. Five, come on. Four, three, uh, two more. Two, one, yes. Really good. That is your warm up done. We're going to move on. I need to put my trainers back on because I can't elevate with no shoes on. And those people that do, Those people that elevate without shoes on, on the brain, on the things, you are some next level hardcore people right there. I can pretty hardcore, not a lot hurts me or phases me, but squatting on plates with bare feet, that's some next level stuff right there. Let's do it, okay. Are you ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. Standard, okay. We've got some walking lunges. If you can't walk, you're gonna stay static. You've got walking lunges. Holding your, if you wanna hold your 16s, you can. If you wanna put your bar on, you absolutely can. I would go medium weight, I would go max weight. So this is how it's gonna go. We've got walking lunges for 25. Okay, then we're gonna go onto the box and we're gonna do 25 wide goblet dips. Then you're gonna come forward here and you're gonna elevate your then you're gonna go onto the bar, then come forward, and we're gonna elevate at the end. It'll all become clear in a minute. So start with your walking lunges, whatever that is gonna be. Okay, I'm gonna stick with my 16s. If that is too heavy for you, please drop down. Lunges aren't for everybody. If you need to just hold a, a small weight, or you wanna do it with a resistance band, switch it up, whatever works for you. Remember, this is not about what I'm doing. It's about what you're doing. Are you pushing yourself to your max? Are you going to your max? This, if I was in a gym, I mean, if I was on a really strong day, which I'm not, I could push to 20, but not for 25, I would do 10. So 16 is my medium weight for 25 reps. What's yours? Ask yourself, okay? 
You should get to a point where the last 10 reps is horrible. So you're gonna stand in the corner of your room, I'm hoping that you can see me. Around here, I'm gonna go diagonal across the room. You go until 25 reps, are you ready? Let's go, step one. Two, stand tall. You need to open your vest. Three, four, just keep going. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you've got kettlebells as well, don't let them swing. 14. 15. Maybe you're using your sandbag. 16, that's okay. Whatever you've got. 17, use it. 18. 19, you should be pushing you outside your comfort zone right now. 20. I've got five more. If you're going super fast, low weight, high rep, do more till I'm finished. Five. Oh, four more. Four. Three. Be strong. Two. Good. One more for me. One. Yes. Uh, I'll wait for you. That should have been really heavy, almost like dripping off the, your chin heavy. Yeah? Good. Uh, can't cheat a rep. You probably would have got about six or seven of them in a normal minute. Instead, you did 25. Are you ready? Pick up your weight. Remember, shoulders back. Undo your vest so your shoulders can go right back. Your vest might be adding extra weight, but I don't want it to hinder your performance. Are you ready? Make sure you are equal in the lift. If you're using your straps. It's really light. Uh, I'm going to have to put my weight because I'll be cheating you if I don't. I'm going to use my 216s. I'll be cheating if I, if I use that weight. by example. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Squat down, rise up. One, two, three. This is why you need straps. Four, five. Sit back. Six, seven, eight, Nine. Ten. Five more and then a rest. If you're going at your max, five. Lift your toes. Four. Use those inner thighs. Three. Good. Two more. Two. One more, then I get a rest. One. Ten more. Make sure if you're dropping them that you bend before you drop them. Don't just let them fall in front of you. I've got ten more. If you are not getting to the point where I am, where you're absolutely gassed, you have to up your weight. It's the only way. I promise you. The only way you're going to see changes. Get yourself more comfortable. Don't turn up. Put half the effort in, and then wonder why you're not changing. Because I'm doing it and I'm putting it in. If you're not doing it, you're not going to see changes. Your max, your workout. Go. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. 
one more. One. Oh, I can't see. Sweats in my eyes. Are you ready to drop down? So we're dropping down, we're putting feet on those on those weights, and we're doing the same again for 25 or less. Thighs, you have to make sure that when you're sitting back, that you're lifting up. You squat down and you lift up through those thighs. You're not coming forward, and you're not, you actually are going up and down like you've got a piece of string coming through your body. Concentrate on that. Are you ready? Elevate those feet this time. Try to go the same way. So, set your weights up where they need to be. Might need to be about there. Try one before you go into it. It's a very different vibe. You ready? Pick your weights up. Let's go. Pick it up. Same, same. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold both sides working just as hard. Nine, ten, five more. Breathe, shoulders back up. Two. One more. Whoa. You should be so proud of yourself. That was hard. Walk it out, shake it off, stretch whatever you need to. Spin that. Just do a little bit of movement. Get your body not feeling so stiff. Got it? Sometimes you just gotta shake it out. Are you ready? I don't care if you're in a gym, I don't care if you're in a living room. Leg day is always going to be hard, it's always going to be tough, and it's always going to suck if you're doing it right. You're always going to be pushed, that's how I don't sweat as much. Sometimes if I get, it's very rare, but if I get to do a leg day in a gym, I never sweat as much as I do when I'm in here. And Teresa, when she did her leg day bonus, the first workout she ever did here, um, she hurt for five days, and she does legs every week in a gym. So there you go, switching it up, mixing up your weights, it's the way to go, I'm telling you. But you can't go through the motions because what happens outside of the workout is where the magic is, right? Okay, so now we've got squats. So you have to take your vest off because you won't be able to put your bar on your back. Well, I definitely can't because I don't hold my bar here on my neck. I hold it down here on my traps. So I don't have a high bar. I find that it aggravates my neck. So you're gonna do standard squats. <clears throat> And then we're going to elevate on the elevation plate, so make sure that they are clear. Are you ready? If you've got chalk, I would recommend that you put some on your bar because you're probably sweating like me. It does help. <laughs> are you ready? Yes, Lisa, I'm ready. So I've got 35 aside, which is my standard. Squat, I could probably go a bit heavier, but for, for the reps I'm doing, I'm happy. Okay, elevate those feet. Are you ready? Three, two, one. 
See how low my bar is? Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Six. Seven. Eight. Squeeze the ass. It should be killing by now. Nine. Feeling. I know it's a lot. You ready to do some hamstrings? So, if you want to use your board, if you're very flexible, so you can get longer in that hamstring stretch, do it. If you don't need the board, then that's cool. I'm going to use it just because I've got very long arms. It gives me a bit more range of movement. But hamstring deadlifts. We're doing single leg. If you want to stagger the leg, you absolutely can. If you want to stagger up the board to make it even harder, you absolutely can, but make sure that you go through the, you're going through the correct form, okay? Hmm. Okay, let's do this. So, this is how it's gonna look if you're staggering. You're gonna put one foot on, and you're gonna come down, and you're gonna come up. Your weight goes close to the body, and then you can come up. I'm gonna use my 12 kilograms of side for this. I don't know what you're going to use, but I would suggest you go lower than 16 or just 116. If you're using the same weights as me, or if you're in a gym, or if you have different weights that you can pick from, I would lower it to something that's a little bit easier. I'm not putting my best down just because when I'm staggering, it'll put more pressure on my back, and I don't want that. Can you see me? I'm pretty sure I can. So one is nice and high, nice and tall in the body. It's a straight leg that should have a slight bend in. You're going to come all the way down. One. Join me. Two. Put that weight in that foot. Three. Can you lift those toes again? Four. See the difference in your foot plays, not when you lift the toes. Five. Put it all into your foot. Six. Seven. One more. One. One side done. I can see. 
see you, that fat ass cheek should feel firing. Ready? Oh, I'm very sweaty. Let's do it. Let's do this. Three, two, one, shoulders back. Get your first one right, then change your position if you need to. Two, three, lift those toes. Four, good. Five, six, seven. side is not as, as kind to me as my other side. 11, 12, 13, my ass cheek gets like kicked in so much quicker this side. 14, push that bum back. 15, I've got 10 more. Ah, it's like my ass cheek fires on this side. It's only because I need it rolling and maybe a good massage. <sighs> 10 more, let's go. 10, 9, 8, good. <sighs> Keep going. 7, 6, really good. Come on. Sides are so different. One more. One, yes. Now you've got a double. So if you want to stand on your board, what that will do is it'll give you greater length, but you have to make sure that you're not rounding through your back. Nice and tall through the body. You literally just bend down, push that bum back. Slight bend in the heels, this is where you're trying to feel it. So if you push your bum back first and then really stretch it back to the wall, you'll feel it. Okay? Double. Let's do it. Rep day. Legs, legs, legs. Can't cheat a rep. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Bum back. Oh yeah, that's all. That's where we're feeling it now. Two. Weights go to the side of the body. Three. Good. Four. Slow and controlled. Five. Six, seven, eight, let's go. Nine, ten, fifteen more. Let's do it. Five with your toes. Four, three, two, Ten more. Ah, legs. Ten more. If your hamstrings are not burning, you are not doing this right. Let's do it. I can't believe how much of a difference it makes just changing the weights to kilograms from pounds. Let's go. Breathe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Done. Congratulations, second. Third round's done, we're nearly there. Are you ready to go back to your squats? Yeah? Okay. Just grab yourself a drink, give yourself a minute. Shake off anything that needs to be shaken off. Yeah, I should feel just horrible, but that's good. Hmm. Are you ready? 
grab your bar again. I don't know why but my nose keeps running and it's not even, it's not even runny. <laughs> cheeks if you get low enough. Four. Come on. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Stay tall. so much harder than weights. Uh, ten. Good. Really good. Get ready for your squats. <laughs> You're like, really, Lise? What are you doing? I'm making you strong. That's what I'm doing. And 50 squats should do it. That used to be our whole workout. Back in the day. Whew. You ready? Come a bit closer so I can see you. Squat, squat, squat. Try not to let my hair get caught this time because it's not the most ideal. Go. Are you ready? Yeah. Do it together then, nice and slow. Go. One, two, three. Try and get low. Four, as low as you can. Should be getting super real now. Five more. Make sure you can see my feet. I've got 
ten more. I've got ten more. Make sure you're squeezing your abs to support your back. What are we doing? Let's do it. Ten. One. Oh my god. Rack in. It's easy to go forward when you rack in. If you've got a rack. And it is to rack it backwards. I think one more set of hamstrings and then we finish here. If you get into front where your legs are feeling a bit shaky or your, your feet are a bit shaky, good. You should do. Because this isn't easy. You're using big muscles. Grab your weights, whatever it is. I'm going for my 16s again. That's when you know it's real, when you can't even get to 15. Ready? Rep by rep. We're doing this together. I'm hoping you need the rest like me. <laughs> if you're smashing through it, something very wrong. <sighs> Shoulders back. Let's go. Five. Make sure both sides are doing the same amount of work. Four, three, ah. two, come on, one more, one, good. Oh wow, let's finish on some ass. If you have a board, use it, if you don't. Don't worry about it. If you have one though, let's use it for some ass. Okay. Need a, a very, very light weight, maybe a 10 pound plate, 15 pound plate, or your lightish weight that you've been using today. So mine's my 12 kilogram. I'm gonna get some ass involved. So this side, juice a bit here, okay? If you want to put your booty bands on, you can use that instead. If you don't want to hold any more weight, if you're just done holding weight, you can do that. But if you can, try and hold a decent amount of weight. So, one foot goes in the middle. I would like you to hold the weight evenly across the body. And you're going to come down, um, curtsy, then you're going to step up. Down, curtsy, step up. If you need to touch the board, do it. Are you ready? 25, 3, 2, one, let's go, curtsy, come up. If you can, don't touch the board. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, try and keep that knee. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You need to go low enough that you feel it here. If you're not, you're not going low enough. Ten, feel it that time. Ten more. Ah. Ten more, ten more, ten more. Ah. Oh. Oh. No joke with this weight, let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Ah. Six. Touch it, four more. Four. Three. Ah. Two. One. Ah. Same leg, this one. Step ups, touch. You're in a very, just a very small touch, okay? Holding the weight. Are you ready? Three, two. One, touch down, very small, one, two, sit back, three, four, very small bend, five, squat down, six, squat down, seven, eight, nine, ten, it's different in it when it's a little, when it's little, eleven, twelve, thirteen, keep that, 14, pressure in those glutes. 15, 10 more. Hmm. 10 more, let's go. 10, keep the pressure in those glutes. Nine, eight, seven, six. Okay, it's only going to strengthen it. It's because you're moving slightly to one side than the other. Whew. So, you see the leg that you've just been working on the board? You're going to put that leg on the floor, okay? Your foot is going to go in the middle of the board and you're going to come from one side to the other side, one side to the other side. You're going to hop each side with the weight. Are you ready? Three. Two, one, let's go. One, two, keep that leg in the middle. Three, you're gonna feel it on your calves. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm. You can take the weight away if you want to. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, really good. Oh. Change legs to the other jump. You ready? Six adds in. Seven. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. If you're just hopping from one side to the other, you're feeling your calves. Don't let it beat you, let's go. Squats, just this side for me. It's a very small movement. You're staying in that ass area. This side switches on way quicker for me than the other side. Yeah, let's go. One, two, three, touch. Four, weight on the board. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got to make sure that whole foot is placed on that board. Very small finisher, come on. Just working on them juicy cheeks. Let's go, 10, nine, can't cheat a rep. Eight, seven, six, five. Mm. When you're doing them small muscle groups, very small range, different. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh God, okay. Last ones. Last ones. This is going to kill me because this ass cheek is not my friend. I'm just going to have a quick sip. <laughs> just waste a few seconds. Are you ready? I know you are. If you like this workout, this is the kind of workout that's going to be in the strength challenge. So no cardio, just straight weights. This type of style. It's going to be great to be able to really pick and choose what workout you do for the day and what results you want to see. Let's do it. Let's finish this bad boy together. Let's go. One. Realize what I was doing. Eight, nine, ten. <sighs> Bang. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, ten more. a small number but it's everything in my head like 10 is nothing why does it feel like everything let's go 10 Good, really good. We are done. We are so done. You are going to need to stretch, especially quads, loads and loads of quads. I've done a lot of ass, a lot of inner thighs on this today. If you need some cardio, do what I did yesterday. Get your rope. There's a video on YouTube, 20 minutes skipping. I'm at 210 calories. Just like that. Make sure if you're going to do that, remember that you're going to start eating into muscle if you've got no fat to lose. So if you're trying to build muscle, you're hindering it. Make sure that you're eating your calories. I'm done. Let me know what you thought. Post it. High five me. Do your dance. 
Summer is gonna be the best summer ever this year. You and me, let's do it.